Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing Crusader Kings 2, and we are going to be playing as the Kingdom of Munster. We are going to be trying to unite and form the Kingdom of Ireland. As you can see here, if we go to down here to Desert Kingdoms, we can see that we need to completely take over the uh, the island of Ireland. So, let's get started. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to go through all these things to the top up here. We are going to check actually our diplomatic relations down here and see if we have any Desert claims that we can press so we can take over parts of the land that we need. And I doesn't seem that we can. We can do a Holy War for Meath, but I don't think I'm going to do that because then I'll have a ton of Germanic countries going to war with me and i don't want that to happen so first thing we're going to do is i think we're going to go after ossery i think that's how it's pronounced but i don't know but first we're going to fabricate claims in that province we are going to train troops in desmond so now i don't really know what to do with this guy since we can't collect taxes so i guess we'll just make him oversee construction in desmond and try and build up desmond so this guy, we are going to send him all the way out here to Constantinople and try and get as technologically advanced and take all the technology from Constantinople. Alright, this guy, our court chaplain, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, um, you, he is going to go and improve religious relations with the Pope so we do not get excommunicated. That would not be good. So, next we're going to go into our special minor titles. And we're going to uh, select a designated region. We're just going to select the guy with the highest opinion of us so he likes us and lets us do whatever we want. Um, so now from here, I'm just going to go through and give all these titles to the people who hate me the most so they like me and won't be uh, likely to revolt against me. All right, there we go. So now we are going to select an ambition. I am... Not very good at really anything in this game right now. I don't have any a good... I, I, have a, I have like one good trait, but mostly everything is bad. So we're actually going to start with trying to improve our martial since it's already almost to, to um 8. So we're going to select improve martial ability, so that should be done pretty quickly. And we are going to get our, hair, our heir someone to marry. So we... Uh, yeah. So our heir... To our throne is pretty much bad at literally everything. They're best at martial, and they're not even that good at that. So uh, I need to find someone that is very good here to improve all of his uh, all of his abilities over here. Um, this person right here looks pretty good. They should help improve all of his abilities, so that when we die and we play as him, we shouldn't be doing. We should have some better traits. And abilities. So let's go ahead and send that. Let's let the clock run for a little bit. There we go. They accepted that. So first thing that we have to do is really we just have to wait for this guy to fabricate a claim on this province so we can invade it. So while we're doing that, we're going to make try and make everyone in our all of our vassals and everyone in our court happy. So let's just send this guy some money so he likes me and won't revolt. Are there any factions? No, there are not any factions. Are there any plots? No, that is good. Can we do we have any technology points? I no we don't. Um So we need to make every how I just gave you money. How are you not liking me? Okay, have some more money. Okay, never mind. That won't do anything. This guy is probably going to cause us some trouble, my spy master. I don't know why, he wants to amass wealth, I sent him money, and he still, he liked me for like two seconds, but now he doesn't anymore. So he's going to cause us some trouble, that's not good. So meanwhile in our court, that is him, we can't send him any money, we should probably send this person some money, what is this? My liege, my ransom to Rome has so far been a success to my visit to the court of Pope Leo. Okay, so... The Pope likes me now. That's good. So we're not going to get excommunicated for any reason. Let's send this person some money. And they still don't like me. Well, that's not that good. Okay, so the, my leads to people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technic technological level. I've managed to study their advancements and documents enclosed here. Okay, so 
he uh, did he got uh, some technology points. Well, not really. We have some military points, but we can't use it on anything because we don't have enough. Um, idle council members. So what happened? Why are you not? Why are you not studying technology anymore? Go back to Constantinople. What do you mean you can't be okay? Here, go go here instead. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is just try and build up our military to be bigger than the chief of Ossery. His military is 1,000, and our military is 700, so we are not doing that well right now. All None of our vassals are giving us any of... They're not giving us any troops right now. This guy, he's giving us some... He's giving us some troops, but not a lot. So let's let's send this guy a gift to try and get him to like us so he can send us troops. Is he sending us troops now? No, he is not. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some of his songs are prophetic. Um, let's see here. So we could invite this guy to our court, or I could just gain the trait kind. I think I'll gain the trait kind because that could give me some good stuff. Yeah, it gives me some more diplomacy and everything, so that's good. I am now ill. Okay, I don't want to die now. That would not be good. This guy is terrible. He has like no, he has no good traits at all. Okay, so now there are special minor, minor titles to be granted. What are they? Commander. Let's just give it to the guy with the best marshal. Okay, I'm cured. I'm not ill anymore. Not sick. And we also have an open council position. Yes, the guy who is causing us trouble is finally gone. Let's make this guy a spy master and make him go study technology back in this place. I don't know why we can't study technology in Constantinople anymore. That's really annoying. Um, so I'm going to have to build a lot of um, a lot of stuff here in the Desmond tribe. Wait, we should actually probably. Not be trying to uh, to get a big military right now. We should probably be trying to um, adopt feudalism. This is going to take a while. Let's try and get this up to a low tribal organization. Hopefully that works. A book about a title was pushed into my hands by a hooded man clad in night blue. Something was said but lost in the confusion. The book was still there. <laughs> Okay, I can gain piety or piety, or I can gain monthly prestige and monthly piety. I think I am going to gain the monthly stuff so I can go up faster. And we have low tribal organization law now. Now we have to wait until 949 to raise it again. Okay. Can we invest in any technological advancements? I don't think we can. So right now we just have to... Put this at max speed and wait until we get a ton of money and just start. What is this? Okay. Pay heavily to deal with this quietly, yeah. Keep her hidden. Just deal with it. Okay, we just lost prestige, that's not good. Um. Yeah, we, we need to, um, what do we need? What are the requirements for adopting feudalism? Stop. Do not plot against me. Good. Okay, so what do we need for feudalism? We need absolute tribal organization, and we need a stone hill fort in our decimate tribe. So we are going to need a lot of money for this. So we're just going to have to speed through this and just get money. All right, this guy, he want the king of Scotland wants to marry my daughter. I have an heir, so I think that I should be fine if I accept this. Now let's just keep waiting until we can until 949 so we can raise the log the tribal organization law. You're bent low for your math, struggling to stay focused and keep your eyes open with your wife. Enters, she crosses through, inspects the map over your shoulder. Okay. Yes. 
we should get some help. The two of you start, um... Alright, let's get this because we... Because we're going to get... Choose this... Let's choose this option just because we are going to get military, cultural, and economic technology points. So, we can... Put this stuff into legalism and majesty. I'm going to do legalism because I'm pretty sure we need that to raise up some lots eventually. I've been studying the art of mounted combat under a, a local horseman. The bruises you have incurred from falling off your horse will heal in time, and there is a small price to pay for increased horsemanship. We gained one marshal. We have a good marshal ability now. That's good. So next, our, our next ambition will be to increase our diplomacy. Because it's the next highest thing that we have. Why? What is this? Put this guy into hiding. Someone is trying to plot to kill him. It's not good. Let's stop that. Okay. So now we wait to get money and for years to pass. What is this? Okay, this guy just acted dishonorably towards me. I don't know what he did, but I don't care. He can stay. We need a new marshal now. So this guy has the best marshal ability, so we're going to put him here to train troops. We have more special titles, and that is commander. We're going to make our son a commander. That may or may not be a good idea. Is how does okay? Our court is all fine. They all like us, and our vassals are fine with us too. So there shouldn't be any factions popping up or anyone trying to kill me right now. So now we just wait until nine hundred forty-nine and to get enough gold to upgrade our hill fort. What is this? There are two peasant families in Desmond who have been locked in a bitter feud for generations. This conflict. Now it's related to the point where it's even discussed in circles of nobility, although the feud would normally be far beneath your notice, this could be a golden opportunity to practice your diplomacy. Okay, so this will help us increase our diplomacy. So we could appeal to their sense of reason or flatter them. I think I'm going to flatter them. Um, my friends, you say with a warm smile, as you can muster, I think you know why I've called your great families here. As you suffer from this tragic conflict, the entire realm suffers with you. Okay, so mention their patriotic duty or soothe their tempers. I'm going to soothe their tempers. In a firm but kind voice, you say, Many of you are angry, I know. You have every reason to be too much wealth been spilled between your families for things to be smoothed over. But there comes a time when one has to look to the future. I could threaten them or do whatever this is. Um, threatening people is usually not a good way to get things done, so I'm going to choose this one. You thump your fist on the table for dramatic effort. In the end, are we not all adults here? It is so easy to revo resort to the bickering of children for nobility and commoners alike, but that is when we must find the inner strength to rise above such pettiness. Let us walk out of fear as adults we are. What do you say? Okay. I think we succeed. Though it is doubtful whether they understood half of what you said. Your message seems to have carried over. The peasants give rousing applause, crying members hug each other. Okay, we succeeded. We gained two diplomacy now. We just need... We just need two more diplomacy, and we are good for diplomacy. And we died. Okay, that's not good. We have... Okay. So, we are now playing as this guy. Okay, so this is not that good. We do not have that... We don't have any good traits, and we don't have any any good um, abilities over here. And our court, our, one of our vassals, and a lot of our court hates us. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to go from here. Let's choose an ambition. Let's try and have a son so we can not have um, the Queen of Scotland ruling over Ireland. Right, we have open ca a lot of open council positions. Let's choose this guy, and this guy is the best marshal. By master and court chaplain. Let's send this guy some money so all of our... So all of our... So all of our people in our council like us now, or almost. This guy, let's give him an honorary title to increase his opinion of us. So... To add in a commander, this guy probably is the best marshal. 
And idle council members fabricate claims. Hopefully this guy is better than the other guy and gets us a claim soon. Um, you can train troops over in Desmond. And you can study technology, please, in Constantinople. We cannot yet go back to Constantinople. So you will t study technology there. You will go back to Rome and approve religious relations. I didn't need to put you there. Can I move you yet? No, I cannot. So now we should be able to move our tribal organi organization law up to medium. Hopefully that gets through quickly. We don't have enough money to upgrade our hill for yet, which is not preferable. We need money. So time to wait again. Okay, so they accepted the tribal medium tribal organization law. So when can we upgrade it again? We go to laws realm until 952. That is quite a ways away. I think that we should be alive when that time gets there. So just gotta wait for that. All right, so now I have a new heir to my throne, so we are not going to be succeeded by the Queen of Scotland, which is good. So we are going to be able to maintain our country and not just instantly lose the game. So that's good. We have an heir now. That's decent. We have... Oh wait, no, he has no vassals. I thought that we had no vassals. I was wondering what happened. So now our all of our vassals like us for some reason. I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything, but our court still doesn't like us. So we just got to wait. So we get money so we can make them all happy again. And we can select new ambition now. We are going to improve our martial ability since it is the second thing that we're best at. Learning is already up as high as we can improve it on our own. So we're going to improve our martial ability. And now we're going to continue waiting because we can't change our tribal organization law or and we still can't upgrade our hill fort. All right, so now we have a claim on Ossery. We we can use it or let it go. I'm going to use it because we will keep this. We will keep that claim as long as this guy is alive. So we can now declare on to declare war on the chief of Ossery whenever we want to claim Ossery. I'm not going to declare war yet because they are way stronger than me right now. They have one point seventeen thousand troops, and I only have seven hundred and eleven. So we, uh, right now, we just have to wait to try and get to um, feudalism and then get a huge army. Okay, what just happened here? It looks like Ossery just split off from the rest of their country, so they might be weak right now and we might be able to attack them. And they are, so they only have 464 troops and we... Uh, have 712 so we should be able to easily take this province from them so i'm going to move this guy up into leaks or i don't know how to pronounce that again but i'm going to move him there to fabricate claims and we are going to go into ossery and use the our claim ossery um reason right here and we're going to declare war on them we're going to slow our, our um the time down a little bit and we can call in allies let's call in all of our allies and raise all of our vassals and all of our troops and move them into ossery so actually i think we can speed this up one more so we have a ton of troops right now a thousand actually i didn't actually expect us to have that much i don't think that that was i think that was those were troops from our one of our allies though yeah our vassals are complaining that their troops have been up for too long. I don't care. They're not going to do anything. As long as I give them money. Which I have been. So this war, we should be able to win this war easily. Let's go stop these people from besieging this province over here. We have open council positions now. What happened? Okay, so this guy died. I don't know what happened. And now we have to assign a new commander. There we go. So let's just beat up their army a little bit more. And then we can send them back to Osri to keep seizing the province. Alright, they're coming back instantly as soon as we get back to this province. I'm going to split this army in half. 
and select the second one and send them up here to take care of this army so they stop coming back to try and besiege all of our provinces. So we're just going to keep them stationed there. Never mind, no, we're not. We, these guys down here need the reinforcements to keep besieging the province. If they do ever, those guys ever come back like they are right now, we are going to send these guys back out to attack them. So, select these guys and send them up there. So it is clear that we're going to win this war. They, they only have like a, a couple hundred people left and we still have a few thousand so if we just keep besieging this province we should be fine every time i leave this place the um the siege progress keeps resetting and they aren't actually doing any damage to our province over there they're um stopped the siege has been abandoned they don't have enough troops to siege that province so we are actually just going to stay over here and there we go, we can now offer peace and enforce our demands. There we go. We now own the province of Asuri. We can now lower all those. And we have idle council members. Go fabricate claims on leaks. Likes, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure that we might now have a big enough army to attack these guys. 613, 651. Yeah, but just barely. So we're going to try and keep improving or getting bigger. A bigger army so we can go in there and just take them out. What is this title loss in succession? That is bad. Um here, hold on a second. I am going to build never mind. Oh wait. Wait. Never mind. I was going to try and build a church in one of my provinces. To make this guy, my one of my other sons, a bishop. So he couldn't inherit it, but I can't unless I have feudalism. But I don't, so I can't. So now we just have to wait until we get more money. And until 952, so we can increase our tribal organiza organization laws. All right, so now it is the year 952, and we can go into our laws and go to realm and uh, increase our tribal organization to high. And now we just wait for that. Okay, that it got approved, and now we have to wait until 962. I don't know if this guy, this guy, will be around for that year, but he might. It won't really matter. So we just have to wait now until. 962 and until we get enough gold to upgrade our hill fort. Alright, so we improved our, fulfilled the ambition to improve our martial ability. So now we can go in here and choose a different ambition. We are going to now improve our diplomacy. After our diplomacy, we'll improve our stewardship and then our intrigue. And then we should be good with this over here. So now we'll just continue waiting until we have enough money to build our stone fort, or hill fort, not stone fort, or, yeah. Okay, why can we arrest this guy? He is the leader of a plot. What is this guy plotting? He wants, oh no, he's trying to fabricate a claim on me. These people, I don't care about those people. They can do whatever they want. But this guy, I'm going to have to arrest him. Okay, good. We succeeded. That could have been bad if we didn't succeed in that. Okay, so we do have enough military now to invade Leaks, I think. They only have a few hundred, 619, and we now actually have a thousand point one four. Let's assign this guy a guardian. That should be good. So, yeah, I think we might actually have enough money. What is this? You're drawn towards a large chill chill crowd. Okay, this can. Oh wait. Okay, so this. You hurry inside the building and join the desperate man on the roof. No, stay away. He cries, but he sees you silly. Just want to talk. Talk to the man. Yes, I have to keep a signal to allow me to lecture him. Follow the man with several long, wide, band jumps. Okay, we gained two diplomacy. We did not succeed in that though. I think we might have enough money to 
build our hill for it here. Yep, we do. So now we have a wooden hill for it over here in Desmond, or once it builds, that is. So now we have to wait until we have enough money to build the next hill fort. Okay, so this guy, he wants to be my new marshal, my nephew, but how much, how good is his marshal? He has 12 marshal, and my current marshal has 9 marshal, so yeah, this guy gets to be my new marshal. We're gonna have to send this guy some money so he doesn't hate me. So, he is now the new marshal. This guy hates me, we're going to send him some money so he likes me, and he still hates me. So this guy, he's going to go over here and train troops in Desmond. And now again we wait. Oh wait, never mind. So this guy got us a a claim in leaks. So now, depending on how big the military is, which is not that big, 715, and ours is 1.10k, we can now declare war on this guy and take this province from him. But before we do that, we are going to... Where do we want to go next? I think we're going to want to go to Kildare, because they look pretty weak and small. So we are going to send this guy up into Kildare to fabricate claims, and we are going to declare war on the Chief of Leaks. So claim leaks and send that. Let's lower the speed down a little bit. And raise our military. And now we send them all into leaks. We might lose this first battle, or maybe not. We are very weak right now. We got defeated. I rushed into that too fast. I should have waited and regrouped all my troops. We're gonna have to send them all up here to Canoct now and wait for this guy wait for them to get there. Try and avoid this guy while we get there. Head over here to Canoct. We still have enough troops to defeat this guy. We just lost that first battle, which is really annoying. So we have to go defeat their military now. It's going to take us a lot longer to beat him too. Do we need to assign a guardian to this person? Make sure they don't hate me. Okay. We're going to win this battle. That first battle was terrible. We should have just re we should have just um grouped our troops up and not just rushed into it. So now we wait here. They can't do anything because they don't have enough troops, and we just wait here and besiege the city until they until he accepts our peace offers. We can go attack his military in between um, besieging this province just to speed this up. So that's what we're going to do. Every time he comes back over here and we're done with the siege, we'll just go attack his troops so it goes faster. Are you serious? We don't have enough troops? I'm gonna have to hire some mercenaries. I don't know if I, had, if I have enough money to do that, though. I guess I'll just go over and keep attacking him until he gives up. Alright, so this is going to be very, very difficult because we don't have enough troops anymore. We're gonna have to hire some mercenaries. Which we can't afford, so we're just we're actually just gonna have to keep going back and forth and attacking this guy's troops. One moment I am shouting orders surrounded by the clinging of swords and fighting around me. The next everything goes dark as the world slips away from me. Are those people concerned faces are ringing? Okay. We get the trait incapable, that's wonderful. So we got hit on the battlefield. So now we're just have gonna have to get everything accepted by our region, which is not good. He's he's probably going to decline everything. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully he doesn't just end this war for no reason. So we have to go back over here and keep besieging this province, which we can't. We're going to just put our troops back in Ormond and wait for them to, like, wait for all of our troops to get to um replenish. And while we're doing that, we're also going to attack him. Attack those troops. So now we just wait for all of our troops to replenish. And then we go back to besieging the province. Okay, we have a proposal here. See, I accept that. 
We now send our troops back up here to defeat the rest of his military. This shouldn't take that long. But he has 56 guys left in his military. And he's back again. He doesn't give up. Maybe if I completely uh, destroy his military, he'll give up. Or maybe he'll just give up now. No, he will not. He will not accept enforced demands. Alright, maybe we can besiege the province now. We have 700 troops again. No, we can't. Okay, we captured someone. I don't know who that was, but we captured them. And again, we wait until our troops replenish. He only has five troops left. He only has five people left. Come on, just give up. You have no military left. Where did you get those people? Where is this guy getting all these troops from? Okay, I don't know what to do now. We do, we actually just have to... Where is this guy getting these troops from? I'm just going to wait here and wait for our troops to replenish and get back to a thousand. I don't know where this guy's getting all those people from. We need to end this war quickly. We are going into debt now. Come on, man. Just give up. You have, like, no military left. I'm okay. I'm not moving these troops anymore. They can't do anything to me, and I need to get this war done, and it'll get it done if I have enough troops to besiege this province. Okay, we need to get our heir to marry someone. This person looks good there, then hopefully they accept that. I'm pretty sure they will. Okay, yeah, we need to get the gold. Anyways, now we wait again for a while. And now we're back in debt again. Okay, we can raise the tribal army now. I will lose 500 prestige, though. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. And it'll cost maintenance. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I can win this on my own. I just have to wait until I have enough troops again. What's this? My magnificent cat curled up in its favorite spot by the window last night. I think now this... I think now that maybe I knew it did not have long left in this world, at least it went peacefully. Okay, I will do that one. Can we... Oh, where did you get all those troops? No! What? What do you mean? What? Where did this guy get 2,000 troops? How? Oh my gosh. Okay, we can, we can send this guy back to Constantinople now to study technology. That's at least good. And this guy's going back to Rome. I am so confused at where they got 2,000 people that fast. Oh my gosh, we're gonna lose this war now. Let's improve this guy's martial ability. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to surrender. Yeah, we're done. Where did they get that many troops? Maybe white and no. <laughs> How? How did this guy manage to do that? Where did he get 2,000 troops? He must have hired mercenaries or something. I can't believe this. We still do have the, um, we still do have the claim on that province, though, so we just have to get all of our prestige back and then declare war on him again. And this time I won't just rush into that battle and just send all my troops there and lose the first battle with all my troops. I think that I can uh, change my, yeah, I can change my tribal organization to max now. Hopefully they just instantly accept that. And they did. Good. So now all we need is our stone hill fort. Which is going to take us a while. Because I'm pretty sure that the stone hill fort is the max hill fort that you can get. So it's going to take us a while to get to that. But at least we'll be able to get to feudalism and have a hold a way bigger army than the rest of these Irish tribes.
Let's invest in some military organization and noble customs. Yeah. Let's send that. And now we just have to wait uh, again. Our prestige is higher now. Can we declare war on these guys yet? We need 200 prestige. Okay, that's going to take us a while to get to. Okay, so there is a plus side. Everyone in every single one of my vassals, even this imprisoned guy, likes me now. And every one of my court except this dude hate, likes me. Not hates me. Every one of my court likes me except the guy who hates me. So that's good. So it's unlikely that we're going to have any revolts. And as soon as I say that, there's a revolt in Desmond. That's, oh, and of course, it's 1,000 troops. Of course it is. Let's just send all... Let's slow this down a bit and just send all these troops towards that province. And as soon as they get there, we'll raise the rest of these troops that we have. Alright. I think we'll have enough. Yeah. Okay, so that was that was easy. That was that was scary though. They had a thousand troops. We could have lost that. Oh no. These people are trying to kill me now. Why are you trying to do this now? I can't even arrest them. If I try to imprison this person, I, I can't even imprison them. I can't end their plot. This is terrible. And people are also starting to form factions now. That's wonderful. This is not going well. That loss in that war is terrible for us. There's nothing I can do. I sh I'm... I can go into hiding in order to greatly improve my personal security against murder plots. My prestige, my prestige and diplomatic ability are likely to suffer, however. So my prestige is likely to suffer, and I need prestige to declare war on this person again. I need 305 prestige now. Okay, I'm just gonna not go into hiding and just wait until... Hopefully these people stop plotting against me, and until I have enough prestige to go to war against these people. I I should have played as Canoct. I'm sure it would have went way better if I played as Canoct up there. Oh no. It has been a long day, and it is with some relief that you retreat to your bedchamber for the night. Your bed is warm, just as you're about to drift into sleep, you hear a strange hissing sound. I think I this might be the assassination attempt. Something cold and scaly brushes past your leg, and as you sit up, you feel a sharp pain in your upper thigh. Pulling back reveals a snake. You stumble out of bed, but already your sight grows dimmer as intense spray Spain pain is, is <laughs> intense Spain. Pain spreads throughout your body. So I just died. Oh no. This is terrible. Why? Oh. This is not going very well. This guy absolutely hates me. This guy goes back to Rome. This guy trains his troops. And this guy fabricates claims. Do I still have the claim? I do not. Okay, this has been going on for a while now, and so we've accomplished very little. We have managed to take this province right here, but that's it. This is this did not go well at all. So that'll be it for this video. I make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I don't know what to say for the ending. All right, make sure to like to show me that you want to see more from this series and to subscribe so we can get this channel to one to five thousand subscribers. And that will be it for this video. Goodbye.